Hey y'all, it is the 9th of May, hopefully wherever you are. And uh, yeah, let's just kind of get started. Um, we pushed an update to the contact sync or pushing an update to the contact sync rather that will add badges on the projects. The badge will indicate if the sync was successful or if it failed. There are potential future iterations of having it maybe make a ticket when the sync fails, or maybe having it post in the Slack channel when it fails, or et cetera. We're not, I'm not entirely sure on that, probably over the discussion issue. But yeah, so that should at least allow our customers to be able to see if the sync is working. Um, that it's not a fantastically complex patch. It basically says sync status success or sync status failed. And one is green and one is red. So I am told. But cool. Um, keep on doing your notification app tests and having your SEs do it. It'll be the end of the month before you know it. And we want to get those all you know in a good place. Um, but yeah, uh, because we're testing adding the emergency form to the sandbox, there is now a form that the SEs can use in the sandbox to file emergencies. Just remember that the sandbox is kind of weird does expect that you have created your support portal account before you just submit a ticket. That's solely the support portal or the sandbox. Global does it, the, the actual productions don't do that, but that was a semi-security thing to prevent customers from trying to use the sandbox to get help because that's the wrong place to do that. They're never going to get help. Cool. Um, I tried to outline some upcoming changes that are kind of queued to kind of help out. Um, on the 10th, we're going to be modifying the LNR form and LNR license troubleshooting field on both global and federal. So the issues there are linked. On the 22nd, we're going to change the theme a bit just to have it make sure when it gives the message about supported versions, it says 14, 15, 16, instead of 13, 14, 15, which it says now. That's because version 16 comes out on the 22nd. Yay. And on the 24th, there is a somewhat complex form and macro combination set up for uh, that Mike and Lyle have requested involving customer calls. It will be set up on global. If you haven't reviewed that, give it a look. Um, it's, it's a weird setup that we kind of came up with. Any questions on those upcoming changes? Yeah, um, I have a question regarding the contact sync. <clears throat> uh, mm -hmm. That contact sync, um, I, um, I wanted to know that how helpful this would be. Like what is actually the BTS, like behind the scenes or behind, you know, the story of that, that why are we doing this? The contact sync itself or the badges? Uh, the contact sync itself. I um, want to badges give customers the ability to manage their contacts in a way that didn't yes. require filing a ticket and waiting on us. So that's why the contact sync exists. Right. Um, uh, kind of the best system we could kind of set up at the current point in time. And um, like in case if a sync fails, um, for example, there is a situation when a customer updates in incorrect context or their MRs are not properly, like whatever the reason the MR has failed. And they are expecting us that this user should have a ticket that has actually happened in past and it has a little bit of bad experience on the customer side. Um, you wanted to know about this, that how are we going to figure it out? Our badges are going to help us with that. So the badge will help the customer in that they'll be able to see a badge on the project that says if it's synced, if it failed or succeeded. Obviously, okay. if the logic in the script is calculating that, that means it could also, in an iteration, determine if we need to have it just file a ticket for them or post in our channel to say, hey, this project had encountered a sync failure. Mm -hmm. um, right now, you would notice because you get the email of the pipeline failed, and you can go look at the pipeline and see what happened. Yeah. Um, but with the iteration of the script calculating if it succeeded or failed and adding a badge that, off, that uh, gives us the room to iterate of, okay, so we have it knowing when it failed. What do we want mm -hmm. to do based on that failure? File a ticket, just post in the channel, send an email, right. text right. me at two in the morning. I don't know. 
Like that, that it. gives us that iteration ability of it's figured out, okay, it has failed. So the question now is, well, what do we do about that? Mm -hmm. Do we do nothing? Do we file a ticket? Do we talk? Do we post in the ops channel? Do we post in the audits channel? What exactly do we as a team feel it would be the best customer experience in the case of a sync failure? Um, I want to open yeah. that up for our discussion. So I'll have like a support team meta and I'll ping y'all and we'll have a discussion of what's the best customer experience for that situation. Oh, is it well, to fail and we fix it yeah. silently? Is it to fail and we open a ticket and have a discussion of, hey, so here's why it failed. Let's uh, figure out how we can prevent that moving forward, et cetera, et cetera. So there, yeah. there's a lot of room to figure out how so, we want to kind of do that. Got it. Got it. The badge is just kind of the first step of some users have said, I really wish I knew how to know if this succeeded or failed. Well, now there's a badge. And not a, it's a badge. It's not like the best way in the world, but it's a badge. Yeah, it's, it's, something. It's, it's something. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> I get it. Cool. Uh, any other questions on upcoming changes or the badge stuff? Cool. Um, we're working on implementing emergencies via form for global. U.S. Federal has had it for a while. Global wants to go ahead and push forward and do that. Um, I've made an issue in the support ops project to track the many issues that spin from that, because obviously it's not just a form edit. There's triggers, there's theme, there's all kinds of other stuff. Working on that, don't have a set implementation date. Sometime this quarter is the plan, but we want to take it kind of slow, test, make sure we're in a good place, announce far in advance, figure out how we want to communicate the change, et cetera, et cetera. So not a whole lot of information on that other than in theory, I've got it set up in the sandbox. And the sandbox won't actually page anybody. It just posts an internal note saying, I would have paged somebody, but this is the sandbox. That was done because last round of testing, it got really annoying really fast. So, <laughs> But on production, it would actually page somebody. It, it's a difference in which target we're using for the webhook. Cool. Um, I've listed some of the upcoming PTO for the month of May. If I've missed you, please feel free to add it on there. I'll try to update it next week, minus the days that have already gone. You don't need to know that I was off on the 12th, on the, you know, whatever that is, 16th, seven days from now. Yeah, 16th. So just some stuff to keep in mind. Um, I am seeing that it looks like three of us are going to be off on the 29th, which is Memorial Day in the U.S. So I'm probably going to discuss with Lyle of, do, you, uh, do we need to make some plans for that or whatever, whatever. So it's uh, it's a situation we've encountered before, especially around like the holidays, like Christmas and stuff like that, where many of us are off. What should we do about that? So I'm going to discuss that in depth with Lyle to figure out, should we set up a pager duty system where there's an emergency, we need page, we need ops, let's do a pager duty thing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll figure it out. But I, it's not the first time I've noticed several of us are off on the same day. I think last week we encountered that where everybody but me was off on one day. So it obviously begs the mm -hmm. question of how yeah. should we handle those situations? Do we need to handle those situations? With a 24-hour SLA and tickets, we kind of don't, but the tickets we handle often are what enable customers to file tickets. So maybe we do. Let us know. Yep, I'll uh, I'll I'll be discussing it with Lyle and kind of figuring out how we want to tackle that. Um, I'm not sure yet because I'm waiting for a visa. But um, as soon as I'll get my visa, I'm probably traveling to Turkey. Um, but it depends on my visa. Unfortunately, I'm from a third world country, so that's why I I cannot say anything <laughs> until I get you know I have my tentative dates in front of me and everything is there. So. Um, my chance is that it's going to be the last week of May. That's 29th May to 7 June. That makes it the highest probability. But um, yeah, I will update it as soon as I get my visa. All right, cool. Um, yeah, anybody else? Questions, comments, concerns, things you want to discuss? Random food reviews from the previous night? 
right, cool. Well, well, yeah, I'll, we, uh, we can stop recording for that. And what 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 are you talking about? What what food? What food? <laughs> it, it was a joke. It's a joke. Uh, oh, okay. uh, something in U.S. that for whatever reason I don't know why is popular on Instagram and stuff like that is taking pictures of your food and then being like, "It was really good." I don't. I don't know. I don't, I don't pretend five to years. understand modern it's, culture. It's happening for the last five years. My yeah, whole no, Instagram it's, feed it's, is filled off that. It's not everybody. I don't. Going. I don't pretend to understand it. When I see food, I I care more about how it tastes than how it looks. But hey, whatever. Yeah. You want to spray your hamburger with water to make it look like it's glistening and hot? Go for it. I just. It's I just gross, but go plate. for it. I just want a plate. We went out somewhere the other day, and they served. Like I didn't get a plate. <laughs> it was like That's on weird. a top block, and it was juicy, so it was just like all over. The, I just want a plate. Just a plate. <laughs> Fun stuff to ask for, I guess. All right, cool. Well, I will. Uh, Entered the video. <laughs> yeah, I'll. Uh, I'll let all of y'all. Have the rest right. of your day back, whatever that is, 18 minutes or however I am. I don't want to do math. But cool. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for attending. Right. Keep up the great work. And I'll see y'all in Slack and in the queues. Sure. Bye. Bye bye.